Hi, my name is Jamil, and today in this section we'll be looking at linear equations. Let's review our objectives. Point-slope form of the equation of a line, other forms of the equation of a line, using parallel and perpendicular lines, and then using linear models in regression. Let's get started by reviewing the slope formula. The slope m of a line is given by the following. y minus y1 over x minus x1 equals the slope, and this formula is when x1 and y1 is any given point, any fixed point on our given line. If we were to take this equation and multiply both sides by x minus x1, what results is the equation of a line. Let's look at the point slope form. The line with slope m passing the point x1, y1 has the following equation. y minus y1 equals the slope, or m, times x minus x1. Let's take a look at an example that asks us to use the point slope form. Here we're asked to find the slope intercept form of a line passing through the following two points, 1, 7, and 3, 3. In order to do this, what we'll need to do is start with our two points, 1, 7, and 3, 3, and find the slope. So here, we have 1, 7, and 3, 3, and the slope is given by the change in y over the change in x, or y2, which in this case is 3, minus y1, which in this case is 7, over x2, which is 3, minus x1, which is 1. Finding the slope, 3 minus 7 is negative 4, and 3 minus 1 is 2, so we know that our slope is negative 2. Now making use of the point-slope form of a line, we have y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. Now our slope is given by the negative 2 value, and now x1 and y1 are given by any fixed point on our line. We have our choice in this situation of using 3, 3, or 1, 7. Both of them will result in the same answer. I'll go ahead and use the point 3, 3. So using 3, 3, we have the point slope form of the line, but we're asked to answer in the slope intercept form, so that means we need to solve this equation for y. To do that, we'll leave the left side alone for a moment, and we'll have y minus 3, and we'll distribute the slope, or the negative 2, into the parentheses, which will give us negative 2x, and then negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6. And now adding 3 to both sides, we'll end up with y equals negative 2x plus 9. So the slope-intercept form here is given by y equals negative 2x plus 9. Why don't you go ahead and take a look at this next example on your own. Here you're asked to find the slope-intercept form of the line containing the following points, 2, 3.5, and 6, negative 2.5. Give this one a try and then check back with me when you've completed it. Let's say I did with that example. You were asked to find the slope intercept form of the line containing the following points 2, 3.5, and 6, negative 2.5. In order to do this, we need to first start by finding the slope. So the slope is equal to the change in the y over the change in x, which in this case is 3.5 minus negative uh, 2.5. And now the change in the x values would be 2 minus the second x value is 6. So working this out, 3.5 minus a negative 2.5 is actually 3.5 plus 2.5. And that's going to be equal to 6. And then on the bottom we have 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. And that's equal to a negative 3 halves, or as a decimal, negative 1.5. Now using the point-slope form of a line, we know that y minus the y1 value equals the slope times x minus the x1 value. We found the slope to be negative 1.5. And now we need to choose a point on our line. Again, we have two choices, 2, 3.5, or 6, negative 2.5. I'll choose the first point. So that means our x sub 1 value is 2, so that gives us x minus 2. And our y sub 1 value is 3.5, which gives us y minus 3.5. Now, in order to put this in slope-intercept form, we have to uh, solve it for y. But to do that, we'll leave the left side alone and distribute the slope, or the negative 1.5. So distributing that, we have negative 1.5 times x. And then negative 1.5 times a negative 2, which ends up being a positive 3. And then to complete this, we'll add 3.5 to both sides to get y by itself. And we end up with y equals negative 1.5x plus 6.5. So that's our final answer. Now that you've seen the slope-intercept form, we should try to use this form to model data. 
Let's take a look at this next example. Here we're told in 1998, there were 47 million people worldwide who had been infected with HIV. At that time, the infection rate was 5.8 million per year. We're asked a couple of questions. The first question, find values M and B so that Y equals MX plus B models the total number of people, Y, in millions that were affected with HIV in the year X, where X equals zero corresponds to 1998, X equals one corresponds to 1999, and so on. Now we were told that there were 47 million people infected in 1998. So we're going to take that fact and make a point out of it. Now since 1998 corresponds to x equals zero, this is really the point zero, 047, where the y values are being measured in millions. So now that gives us the y-intercept of our line. They also told us that the rate was given by the value 5.8. Now that plays the role of the slope. So in order to write the equation of this line using slope-intercept form, We'll have y equals mx plus b, where the slope is given by the rate 5.8. So we get y equals 5.8x, I'm sorry, 5.8x, plus the y-intercept, which we were given by the value 47. So this is the equation of the line that models this data. The second question that we've been asked is to estimate the number of people who may be infected in the year 2010. Now in order to do this, what we first need to do is realize that the year 2010 corresponds to the x value 12. So 2010 gives us uh, x equals 12. And now remember from the last part, we've got the equation of the line that models it. And that equation is y equals 5.8x uh, plus 47. So for this example, we're being asked to substitute in x equals 12. So y, or the number of people infected, will be equal to 5.8 times the value 12 plus 47. Now 5.8 times 12 gives us 69.6 and then plus 47 which gives us the value 116.6. So what we can say is according to our, uh, our model is 116.6 million people will be infected with HIV in the year 2010. The last form of the equation line is the standard form. It's given by AX plus BY equals C. In this form, it's rather easy to find the x and the y-intercepts, and that's very helpful when it comes to graphing a line. Now, another thing we need to look at is two terms called per, uh, parallel and perpendicular. Let's define these. Parallel lines, two distinct non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. Perpendicular lines, two lines, neither of which is vertical, are perpendicular if and only if their slopes have a product of negative one. Let's take a look at some examples that make use of these terms. Here we're asked to find the equation line satisfying the given conditions, giving it in slope-intercept form if possible. The first example is a line that goes through the point negative 1, 4 and is parallel to the line 